is that creature in the bay? No one knows. He just appeared one day. Soon after, Thor attacked, and their battle could be felt across all the realms. Ultimately, it ended in a stalemate, and Thor returned to Odin empty-handed. The serpent stayed and grew so large, he now spans all of Midgard. They've hated each other ever since. Destined to kill each other, come Ragnarok. He knows the pain of your loss. He will help you. Look here. Another. Look! It's the World Serpent. He's so much bigger than I imagined. Oh, look! He bit Thor! Or will bite him. Looks like. It is said that when Jormungandr and Thor battle at Ragnarok, their clash so violently shakes the Tree of Life that it splinters, casting the serpent backward through time, even before his own birth. Another one here. Hmm. This giant's a sorceress. Her name is Gro. Looks like she had visions. Did Odin kill her for her book? He's convinced the giants hold the key to changing his fate when Ragnarok comes. They are the Aesir's oldest enemies after all, and it's their army that's supposed to do him in in the end. called Suriter. Must be a fire giant. Aye, the first and original. He makes a flaming sword. A weapon of legend. He fights Thor and Odin. But is that the past or the future? Hmm, that may be a matter of perspective. Roy, over here. Oh look! It's Skull and Hati, the giant wolves who chase the sun and moon. Where did they come from? How did they get up there? What's happening there at the end? They eat the sun and moon? And then everybody fights? It's the wolf giants. Skull and Hati. That's right. The bringers of day and night. Ragnarok begins when they catch the sun and moon. Right? Did Tyr know them? I don't know. Like them well enough to cover a massive wall in his vault with them, though. You're familiar with the tale of Skoll and Hottie, bringers of day and night. Oh, yeah! The wolf giants! Aye! They were born of the arch wolf Horoth Witnir, a great nemesis of the Aesir gods. Odin captured them as pups and kept them in the kennels of Asgard to hold his foe at bay. But when the sun and moon grew mutinous and stood still, Odin put Skoll and Hottie to use. With his ancient magics, he cast the wolves to the heavens, and they began their chase. And long shall they chase, but not endlessly. For it is foretold that someday Skoll and Hottie will catch and devour their prey. And that day shall be Ragnarok, the twilight of the gods. But Ragnarok is supposed to be Odin's doom, isn't it? Why would he set the wolves loose if it fulfills the prophecy? Precisely the question, lad. It's always about control. The wolves determine when Ragnarok begins, and now he controls the wolves. A battle fought on his timetable 
is a battle he better stands to win. the heart, brother. You'll have to get your hands dirty. Set. Can't not to linger here, though, eh? Kratos. Zeus. Zeus? My father. Your father was Zeus? Well, that explains a lot. Prophecy doesn't expect this for a hundred more winters of weeks. You've changed, so Prophecy didn't count on you. to snow sooner or later. That ain't just snow and you know it. What he means is, Fimble winners upon us, boys. The winner to end all winners. I can feel it in my scroll. This is the big one. I really wish I didn't, child. 